President Donald Trump and President-elect Joe Biden took time on this Veterans Day to honor those who have served. As Stanley Brand shows us, it is President Trump's first public appearance in nearly a week. On a rainy Veterans Day, the President and First Lady visited Arlington National Cemetery to lay a wreath at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, alongside the Vice President and Secretary of Veterans Affairs. Present in Philadelphia, President-elect Joe Biden and his wife Jill laid a wreath at the Korean War Memorial. Biden's trip to Philadelphia, a city that helped him win Pennsylvania, came as President Trump has continued to lob unsubstantiated claims of voter fraud at that state and several others. So far, the president's legal team has not given up its court challenge over late arriving ballots in the Keystone State. But Biden's margin of victory is on pace to keep Pennsylvania, even if those ballots are tossed out. Meanwhile, the Trump campaign has also filed a new lawsuit in Michigan with over 230 pages of affidavits claiming voting irregularities. None of these accounts are first person. None of these accounts were brought in a timely fashion. Georgia's Secretary of State announced a full hand recount of every vote to ensure the validity of the results. It will be a heavy lift, but we will work with the counties to get this done in time for our state certification. Georgia's two Senate races will determine balance of power. Both are headed for runoffs in January. Meanwhile, Republican incumbents in Alaska and North Carolina have won their races. CBS News also projects that President Trump won Alaska. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Wilmington, Delaware. And CBS News has also officially projected that the Democrats will retain control of the U.S. House of Representatives.